Hello, I'm Cameron Martis, your TA for ATM 101. Today we'll be doing the latent heat effusion lab. In this lab we will be measuring the amount of heat it takes to melt ice into water. First of all, we're going to take some water that's warmer than room temperature and pour it into our beaker, carefully measuring out 200 milliliters. It is important that you have an exact measure for this experiment to work properly. We want the bottom of the line of water in the beaker to be right in the middle of the 200 milliliter mark. Next we take the water and pour it into two styrofoam cups that are nested into one another. Inside these cups we have a temperature probe placed. One of the temperature probes from our digital thermometer and this will measure the temperature of the water. The other temperature probe, the right one, is positioned here measuring the temperature of the air. It will take a few minutes for the thermometer to acclimate to the temperature of the water. Right now the thermometer is reading 36.7 degrees Celsius in the water and 22.6 degrees Celsius in the air. Right now the thermometer is reading 36.7 degrees Celsius in the water and 22.6 degrees Celsius in the air. Now the thermometer is reading 37.2 degrees Celsius in the water. 37.6 37.8 The thermometer has remained constant at 37.9 degrees Celsius in the water. So we will suppose that the thermometer has acclimated to the water and this is the true temperature of the water. Next we will take and add some ice into the water. It is important that this be entirely ice and not ice with water because we want all the heat that leaves the water as the water cools down to go into melting the ice and not into warming up cold water. We see the thermometer is dropping as we stir about the water to allow the ice to melt more efficiently. It's reading 34.5 degrees Celsius now. Now it's dropped to 20.3 degrees Celsius. It appears now that the ice is almost entirely melted. We're reading 14.2 degrees Celsius. Since there's a lag in uh, the time it takes the thermometer to measure the actual temperature of the medium it's immersed in, we'll wait a few minutes to make sure we're reading the actual temperature of the water. Now reading 12.3 degrees Celsius. Twelve point one degrees Celsius. Twelve point zero degrees Celsius. Notice the temperature of the room has dropped to twenty two point two degrees Celsius. The temperature of the room should not be affected by the temperature we're measuring in the water, so we can probably attribute this to random variations in the room temperature. Eleven point nine degrees Celsius. It appears the temperature is now constant at 11.9 degrees Celsius. Now we will take out the temperature probe, take the cup of water, and pour all the water into the beaker in order to measure the total volume of water, the original water plus the water that came from the ice melting. It appears that this is right about 255 milliliters. We are now finished with the experiment. Next, we have to do the analysis. 